All right, so continuing on, I'd like to continue this discussion around annotation by shifting gears one last time and focusing in on none other than line types. Now, as I mentioned at this top of the presentation, my background is in civil, and if you know anything about civil drawings, we love our layers about as much as we love our line types, especially if we can use line types to annotate things. Now, the trouble is leveraging line types to annotate things does pose a little bit of a challenge with the text in said line types being plan readable. And we have a pseudo solution for this with the reverse command, but even the reverse command can't fix every instance of this. So some polylines as an example won't work and certainly a circle won't work either. So jumping back into AutoCAD here, I have a sample drawing and here on the right, I have a polyline and I could certainly run the reverse command here under modify and then use reverse and that fixes the bottom text here on the bottom part of my polyline, but it messes up the text here at the top. And of course, short of breaking the circle into two arcs, there's no way to address this here with my circle. So what can I do? Certainly AutoCAD's smart enough to make all of this plan readable. And the truth is it absolutely can. In fact, it's been able to do this ever since I think AutoCAD 2008, I might be off on the version but this has been part of the software for at least a decade now. So if you find yourself going to the reverse command, this isn't really AutoCAD's fault. It's that somebody needs to update your line types. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I open up this line type that I show on the screen here, this is what the line file looks like. And if you've not really read line files before, text or line types with text in them, the text is always going to be contained in this bracket right here. So again, we have the square opening bracket and a square closing bracket right here. And this is the text and the text style and the position and the size of a tenth of an inch in this case. If I would like this text to always be plan readable or in AutoCAD terminology upright, all I need to do is come in here to this line file. I'm going to type in comma. I'm going to type in U equals zero. That's all I have to do. So basically adding this upright parameter. I'll go ahead and save things. And if I return to AutoCAD now, let's open up my line type command. I am going to load in this new file right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up. I'll pick on that line type and open that guy up. It's going to tell me that this line type already exists in the drawing. Do I want to reload it? Yes, I do. I'll go ahead and reload it and anything else in here. So there is my AU line type. I'll go ahead and say OK now. And nothing happens off the bat. However, if I do a quick regen, notice or pay attention to the line types. Just like that, they are all fixed. As easy as that. Notice this is still a circle. However, AutoCAD has kept everything plan readable around the entire circle. And likewise, this is still a polyline. And AutoCAD was smart enough to keep all of that plan readable as well. Pretty awesome, right?